In this lesson, we will be exploring the Seros Analytics dashboard and how we measure success for the content we create. By understanding the data behind performance, as well as the context for the project, including design, UX, copy, and strategy, we will be able to construct a comprehensive story of performance and success in Seros. When we log into the Seros platform, we land on the Projects tab. Here you see the various project folders you have created in Seros so far. Click on the Analytics tab on the left of the page, which will take you to an overview page of all of the metrics associated with all of your projects in Seros. On that page, you can use the drop-down on the left to navigate to other project folders or individual experiences, as well as use the drop-down on the right to pick a specific date range you'd like to view. On this overview page, you'll be able to see a chart of your visitors over time, a list of the visitors in order of most to least, total visitors, and average visitors per day. Below you'll see visitors by device type, and referring domains for standalone and embedded content. Now let's click into a project folder on the projects page, find a project we'd like to examine, hover over it and click on the three dots in the bottom right hand corner and select view analytics. This will take us directly into the experience level metrics dashboard. You'll notice that this is a slightly different view than we've seen so far. This route will land us on the basic KPIs page which will give us an idea of how many visitors came to the experience and page through it. Basic KPIs is one of two overview pages in the dropdown on the left side of the screen. The other is Engagement KPIs, which will give you an overview of things like clicks, video views, and shares. In the next video, we'll deep dive into these basic KPIs and what they mean.